What sort of accent is that? I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard. Is that Welsh? Something in the British Isles. Hello. What's that? I said hello. No, I said hello. But close hey. enough. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. Might be trying well, to live a seem, I never let life get on top uh, of me. Oh, yeah, I can, okay. Yeah. What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile. Is he You're gonna be always look on the bright side of life? You know if you start whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. It's a deal. Wow. Have you seen any unsavory characters? He's boring a hole corners? through the tiles. No, sir, I haven't. No. But I've got nothing to worry about. Sir. Maybe that's what it is. You keep him talking long enough so that there's a hole burrowed the through, and then you become Mr. Mole. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. A floor polisher. Would Mr. Shiny is this meant to be Ringo? Please. Don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. More of a friend than benefits, if you know what I mean. Three years, and he's <laughs> never let me down once. He's better at getting me up, if you know what I mean. But what a shine he puts I on the knob. I to call him that. He's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah. Mr. Is that Mr. Shiny, it's like, some sort of serial killer thing? Hard, don't you? Uh, no, you I, me? uh, I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. That's from putting your I dick in a spinny thing. I behind me back <laughs> when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Whatever you've got with this metal mop foot is probably a fine and noble thing. It is? Say, it's not every day I meet someone as crazy as me. Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? Yeah, no, you, you gotta hit on uh, Mr. On Shiny to get anywhere. Mr. Shiny. <laughs> See you later. Probably got friends yeah. on. Yeah, take care now. That was the hand gesture for pluck you. I was thinking of Mr. Smiley, uh, the Smiley face killer. As I tugged the plug out of the music, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Then, the same happened to the old man. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Uh... What is he getting out of this? Whoa. That was startling. <laughs> VLCs. VLCs everywhere. Okay, now we can go into that room. Right? Or no, we're just gonna stand there, okay? George, George, go in. Okay, a little slow. Yeah. Why is he getting... Oh, got it. He's gonna pretend to be a doctor. Now he can look like one of those weirdos wandering aimlessly in the lobby. Right, now we can go stand around. Hmm. Dr. Stobart, that's your son. And now it'll be funny because this guy will totally not remember us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good... Pr oh, yeah. Yeah. We are just gonna go hang around the lobby and look, look cool in our coat. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Who are we talking to? Um. Oh, that was weird. Okay. That was Call me George weird. if you like. Are you sure? I like to greet yeah, people from funny. far across the room. But everyone calls me ben. Are you a clown, Bunny? Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. I would and make keep it babies. To yourself, Benoit. You keep your bunny habit. Do you to know yourself. anything about a patient named Marquet? And the sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Is that hang? Do you know the nurse on board J2? I don't, I just, no. no. French with a wisp? I can't wait to get my hands <laughs> dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with a nurse. I, okay, okay, okay. She's a dirty, dirty nurse. Do you nurse. recognize the man in this photograph? <laughs> no, me too. I've never seen him before. See you later. Great. All French nurses are dirty nurses. Now talk to the doctor with the Hi, sweaty balls. My name's George Stobart. Aha! Just the man. Not the coach, just the man. The so, uh, 
normally the art works pretty good, but they've got these people so far away from the camera that it just points out like how weird it looks. This is Can I trust you to look after me? Do your own babysitting, Gramps. Who do you think you are, anyhow? I am Felix. Dun da da da! May I say what an honor it is to meet you in person, sir? What, what? You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pasteur and... Lear. Come on, you couldn't think of, like, Curie? I like... As a no. like, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, to look Timothy you. Leary is... Is, is a, fresh a doctor. Was he? Is he? Yeah. Yep. His eyes to see a real doctor on Actually, I'm not sure of the tense uh, on him. But yeah, he was a doctor. Let him see some real Defrocked or disbarred or whatever it is doctors get. Yeah. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, sir. I do not. So long, Hagenmeyer. They just stole his frock and his bar. Sad day. Sweet. Did did we are we taking this guy with us? Did I miss I No oh, for God's sake. So we have a... All right, I'm going to need you to go tackle that nurse. Good afternoon, doctor. Oh, hi. Is this ward J2? Yes, sir. The patient's already for your inspection, doctor. Uh, thank you, nurse. Also, well, it's nice of her to pretend and play Monsieur along. Monsieur Croquet in bed, too. What's his problem? He's it's been like, complaining uh, Clark Kent's of glasses. loss of consciousness. You'll need this, doctor. It's my breast. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. It's a penis nice. shaft. The smile? No. The... Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse told me you keep losing It's the same conscience. accent as the waxes. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. <laughs> like death, but not so conclusive. I see. How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, <laughs> and then I recover. That's called blinking. I might not have been a doctor, but I was formulating a diagnosis all the same. I think, this uh, guy was I think nuts. that's the joke. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, okay. No we were, okay. <laughs> is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly natural. But just think. Two seconds every minute? Why, <laughs> that's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. Well, you could do like me and only blink one eye at a time because you fear that horrible, horrible darkness. Which bed is Marcaean? <laughs> He's round the Out to the angel statue in your roommate to put in your What's bedroom. What's the matter with him? <laughs> I don't know, but the men who brought him in were wearing masks and rubber gloves. Hey, Clowns? You're a doctor. <laughs> how come you don't know? We doctors don't know everything. Then how come you act like you and do? This game has some real problems with doctors. Has Marquet had any visitors? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> neither have I. That's the worst thing about being Yeah, that's the hospital. worst thing. You feel like the rest of the world has abandoned you. Along well, with your gallbladder. You know how it is. Life goes on. Thanks for those comforting words. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, it goes Doc. on until it doesn't. Hey, Benoit. Put some tape on his eyelids. I just keep thinking of Benoit balls. Mm. There's no need to shout. What do you want? Did he turn German? Or prison. Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. What do you want to get to with it? Doesn't it well, shove it up your ass? Doesn't it look like a penis pump to you? Follow me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. Benoit, you got a lot of balls. Hello, anybody home? He's right behind him. Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart. And I'm here to steer you down the So she told us that you were supposed to go see uh, what's his name first, and instead we're just fucking around with these guys. You better believe it. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient. Grendel's mother. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. 
I floor waxer. Whoa. <gasps> the woman in reception <laughs> is a monster. Well, that's simple. That was pretty, um... Yeah. She's quite straight. Straight, straight up. <laughs> but that's the job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That the room Bond was film. mine before I was... Private room? Out like a common the man in the private room. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even He's... say what's wrong with me. Tell me I know it's wrong with you. What's you got the hots for the nurse. Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. See you later. I need to perform a wallatectomy. <laughs> but dun But dun So, like, I have a like a lab coat, do you think Doctor, if I just wore that into a hospital, they'd let me start talking to patients? Yes. Clearly. At least in France. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited. Stop like looking this. at the nurse. Come back later. Why did you have to walk all the way back around to hey, tell him that? Balls. like Marco Polo. It's weird because we will start a conversation miles away, but we have to get up close to finish it. Are you ready with that pressure gauge? Prime and ready to pump there. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? I think you're right about it being a Use penis bump. Eric Sotmarsh. Okay. He's very uh, accommodating. Oh, I'm okay. Dr. Bonjour, doctor. Have you heard of a guy called... Have you seen Marquet? any clowns around? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is ear just door. the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He had... Anthrax. Got in a mosh! I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed as vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude. I, why? Come on, Grandpa, just earn your fucking seven fifty an hour. Open the door. The white coat suits you. Thanks. Have you seen any suspicious Okay, so Benoit just looks to be standing and staring at us. Like and a weasel? No. This be pumping the old guy's penis. Yeah, like and and is that the joke that we're supposed to be experiencing here? That he's penis pumping an old guy because we had him do it for no apparent reason. Don't you think it's possible that the bear was a man in disguise? Well, obviously I'm not completely stupid, but who would go to the bother of disguising himself as a bear? It's not as if it blend in with the surroundings. I guess it depends on the surroundings, right? To see if any yeah, the, the forest themed the ward do okay. Circus. But it keeps shitting on the floor. Sit tight until reinforcements arrive. I guess they're right. I'd be stupid to tackle a bear single and dead. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I have never seen him before. Catch you later, officer. Au revoir, that doc. didn't even rhyme. You see that bear? Kick him in the nuts. I, okay. Brother, I think that's a good way to bear. anger a bear. I would, I would think so too. I would think perhaps give him a hug. This guy take the bear on. Marquet. Yes. I'm Marquet. Is it butter or Marquet? I've been expecting you. you wow. The. <laughs> They were really excited to animate his jowls. Yeah. It, it over always... Voice acted by Dr. Claw. I just want to know what I should do with the jam. The llama jam. Yeah, right here in my pocket. I'm rubbing it right now. You see that? Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it. Not me. I never inhale. <laughs> What? You sent in my place. Hash uh, joke there. Yeah, yeah, but I... You could uh, hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. 
What should I do with the gem? Yeah, you know, those corned beef inhalers. Like a Timothy Leary joke now, and I never inhaled joke. I think Stobert is getting high off screen. I think you're right. But it's been taken care of. I, I, I oh, oh! Ask him about the Stooges, for God's sake. Would that be Flap and Guido? Flap and Guido, by any chance? You know them? We've met. Know them? They're my mother. They came to my bris. He's more likely to have followed Klausner. I feel like there's something unimaginative about the positioning of the chandelier in this shot. Uh, okay. I guess it's just like we some of the rooms they like to go all artsy with some like foreground and everything and then sometimes like this it's I mean this is just if this is the only thing that's gonna happen in this room, this just feels like such a boring perspective. Right. That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing? Can rhyme a lot of things with Marquet. Monsieur Marquet yes. is my patient. Okay, how can my office to hear that? Okay, I'm going. I learned all I could from Marquet. My patient is Monsieur Marquet, and I'm here to say. That I'm gonna hospital rap all day, I'll all day. You, I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Go ahead, deliver the. Thanks, Bonnie. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Um, so we're just gonna let that guy die? Is that what? The 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 guy in a white coat that sure just walked in and doctor? claimed he was the doctor? Oui, yeah. He showed me his ID. It was Doctor Brayon. There's no Doctor Brayon working here. He's an imposter. What? <laughs> The door's locked. Help me, officer. Why was George shocked by this? Like... God, George is terrible at this. He's not a good investigator. Stand or back, surfer you. or whatever he is. Yeah. Gee. The guy who was waiting for an assassin and had a mysterious man visit him got killed somehow. What a... Shock. What a twist. Oh, I hope we get to see that creepy guy visit. I found Jean no. Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He he very last time. Yeah. Time. yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus If only there's some way I could have known. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Khan? No, I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He Khan! Khan is played by Ricardo Montalban, Nico. You would recognize Ricardo no. Montalban. Said that they were With his the spray tan. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. Stop that saying bogus evil. doctor. <laughs> he had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. Do you think the assassin was responsible what for killing Marquet? What the stupid ass question is that? You could have finished him off the first time. Besides, you think that big burning orb in the sky is responsible for how hot it is outside? The of the apocalypse, unless they introduce themselves. Have you found out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. Surprising, I know, since I've just been sitting on my ass here this whole time. The King of France. I know they can only move two squares forward and one to the right or left. Well, he actually had dark hair, so it was, it was really a bad nickname. So they called him Philip the Asshole. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Bosso or Sergeant Mou? Oh, so you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. Don't worry. Whoever I talk to, I'll call you from there. Oh, I gave a creepy random guy your address. Hope you like that. 
told me he wasn't a stalker, so it's okay. She knits alone. 